Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And I already filmed this lesson, but I'm putting this in the front. And we're doing penguins, but this is a surprise video for Saturday. And I used to film on, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And this is a surprise one for Saturday. It's Little Birds on a Wire. It's called Penguins by Silky Wagner. And now we're going to diverse, but I wanted to put in here that I'm doing a live Zoom class every Tuesday. And you can join me um, live. And this time I will record it so you can come back and see it. Um, you can log into the Zoom lesson and see it. Um, so I will record the next one Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. This is an experiment for me, so we'll see how it goes. But we really had a good time on the live Zoom class before. So um, now enjoy um, penguins, or I call them birds on a wire. Thanks. Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is by Silky Wagner. And you can see these little birds. And I made a little pile of chicks. My my children have, uh, I got ink on my finger. It's not blood, it's ink. <laughs> I, um, my children had uh, got little chicks because they decided they wanted to have chickens. They'd wanted it for several years. And they built a chicken coop. And these are, I like the little chicks. I have a lot of blackbirds in my area. Silky calls it penguins. And uh, I've been sitting and watching the birds fly in and out, make nests, and so it's been kind of fun. So I'm going to do these little birds um, on a little branch. And I know we say Zentangle is a non-representative thing, but every once in a while you need just a little something. Um, I, as I did my live broadcast, I did one of them in here. Um, on my uh, artwork that I was doing. So sometimes you just need a little fun and there are no rules in Zentangle. And not that anything goes. We're artists, we do what we want. So I'm just gonna show you how I came, um, used um, Silky's little design and I want to share it with you. So I am going to do a, with my pen, just a, like a little branch and I am, I'm going to aura it. And I could do a little weight here on the end and come around and just give it something just for fun. Okay, so now we're going to start with just a row of um, little, I would call them little humps. Let me come in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And they can be different sizes. And I'm actually going to skip because I noticed the birds on sometimes they they don't all sit right together so I'm going to space that and then we're going to put a little I call it a little frowny face or that curved line and we want to leave a a little space that they're not too close because we're going to draw in that area also so we just make those little humps. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a heart in this area. And my heart sometimes is buried underneath the, um, so it looks like it's kind of a holly ball effect underneath that first little arch. I mean that little space right there. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put two dots in here. Okay. 
these are my little eyeballs. Okay, so here, now we can decide, oh, we better put the beak. Because every bird has a little beak. So now they all have their little beaks. And I'm going to give mine just some little feathers up here on their top notch the top of their little heads so they all have a a little top now you can decide whether or not you want to color them um, with a color pencil or if you want to color them in I'm gonna go ahead and color mine in I am going to switch off to um, a I'm gonna try the brown pen and see what happens Give these little birds a little sparrow look. So I'm going to color that in with um, my brown pen. And I'm going to make little wings like this on each side. I think that's mainly it's what flies around my house or lots of little sparrows. And I imagine I could come in here and make their little wings brown too like that so that I have these little and I'm going to color in all across the top of there and then I will um, fast forward it so there I have all my little heads and I thought about, I might try, instead of my pen, but my colored pencil, and do my little wings with my color pencil, instead of my pen. This color pencil is um, Prismacolor, and it is called Terracotta. And it is the same color as that brown, but I'm hoping I can achieve something different here when I'm done. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to take my um, cool gray. I'm going to take my cool gray pencil and I'm going to color in my little bellies with my cool gray and I'm gonna see if I can I, that first one I couldn't do it but I'm gonna blend that cool gray right over the top of my um, terracotta so that kind of gives it just a little different look and I do have my little gold jelly roll and I'm going to make their beaks. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of gold on their little beaks just for fun. You can hardly see it there but and then I'm going to take my blending stump or my white blending tool pencil and blend this. I have to be careful. I probably should have waited to do that little gold on there because it takes a little longer for that to dry. So there I have my little birds on a wire. For me, they're not finished. They need something more. And so I'm going to put another tangle or two underneath here. I'm going to draw another what I learned is called oh, drooping, droopy mucha. Now that isn't it. I can't remember. But I'm just going to put just some more little branches 
and I think I'm going to do some little poke root coming out on here. Because my little my little birds um, land on here because there's something good to eat. And maybe a little poke leaf on here also. But you can see how fun this is going to be. Just very creative. I'm going to keep drawing. And you can see how how fun and creative you can be with a little row of birds and um, on a little bookmark or they could be little chicks I hope you enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we uh, we're doing a live video, Zoom, I should say, a Zoom class on Tuesdays, and you can join us. You'll find the link in um, my in the, in the store under the tab Zoom, and every week it is a different link so that we can stay safe and, um, and endure this strange time in our lives right now. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.